My name's Ed. I live in Salt Lake City, Utah. I have a T-Wall 2, which I ordered in uh, March. I ordered it because I had a uh, cruise planned in the BBI. In the reservoirs we have uh, here in Salt Lake City. So we have some uh, big mountain reservoirs. Uh, the winds are uh, pretty gusty and you gotta be very strategic about uh, when you go. You know, I've probably sailed it about a dozen times, so I set it up and take it down each time. I probably go out about once a week and I just have it stored in the, I uh, had it stored in the garage and then I just moved it into a little storage shed. I love it. I uh, only learned to sail, uh, really learned to sail about a year and a half ago. So I'd only sailed things 26, 35, 40 feet. So sailing a dinghy was a new experience for me. You know, if you're on a big sailboat and you let go of something, it keeps doing what it's supposed to do. <laughs> let go of something on a little dinghy, it does all kinds of crazy things. But I've now I feel pretty confident I was out. It, it does best probably in about uh, 10 knots, I find, uh, at least for me. I um, The first couple of times in big winds, I, I flipped it a few times. It was uh, pretty easy to uh, get get back up and get going again. So yeah, I probably go out probably an hour at a time. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I get a lot of comments. Well, I just, every time I, every time I break it down, I think it's never going to fit in these bags and it always fits in the bag. So it's, you know, it's just, it's a lot of stuff and people like come by and watch me setting up. They're like, there's no way it's going to fit in those bags. I'm like, yeah, it's going to fit in the bag. So yeah, it's just, it's a lot of fun. Um, I said, I, for somebody who's never sailed a dinghy before, really didn't know what the heck they were doing after three or four times, I felt really confident. And now, you know, it's, it's a stress-free experience. You know, I'm a big skier and skiing is all about finding that right balance between one thing and another. And there was one day I was sailing, it was about 12 knots and it was just, you know, I was out on a, it just it, finding the right balance, you know, and I, now I understand why people do it all the time because I want to find that same spot again. Well, the first time I saw one was when I was down in uh, the British Virgin Islands in October and uh, we were moored next to this beautiful couple with beautiful little kids uh, on a, they were on a cat and I, for two nights out of seven we were moored right next to them and they just finished their cruise at the end of the day and and the mom popped on with one of the little kids and cruised around the anchorage so that's what I'm looking forward to doing is taking it down to the Caribbean uh, this coming March and sailing it where it's meant to be sailed. <laughs>